And you know what? I, I am so excited to introduce some of my new friends from Disney Television Animation, the cast and creators of two incredible shows, Big City Greens and Amphibia! We've got uh, Big City Greens is a show about a country family that follows uh, the Green family. They move from the country to the big city. We follow Cricket Green, who is a uh, mischievous and curious little boy, uh, actually voiced by my brother, Chris Houghton, right yes, here. Yes, hello, hello, everybody. All right. Good to see you. Thanks for being here. You know, Amphibia is the story of Anne Boonchoy, uh, an independent and headstrong 13-year-old girl who is magically transported to the amazing, strange, and wonderful world of Amphibia, a land populated by walking, talking, Frogs. Oh. Take a look, take a gander, everyone. Wow. Because this is yeah. the Calamity Box. I know. Whoa. The very Whoa. same magical music box that transported Anne to Amphibia in the first place. You uh, you want to see it? Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to keep my distance here. Yeah, no. Don't touch it. No touch it. Don't do it. Uh, Kermit. Kermit. <laughs> Don't do it. Oh, no. Oh, no. my God. Oh, no. I think you touched the box, guys. <laughs> Matt, why frogs? Great question. <laughs> Thanks, um, Nailed it. <laughs> uh, um, the reason uh, uh, the show is really about frogs is because ultimately it's a story about transformation and change. Our leading lady, Anne, she enters Amphibia one way and she's going to leave a very different person. Um, about the, uh, the magical calamari box? Oh. Uh, it's, it's the calamity box, Kermit. <laughs> Right, right. Well, uh, uh, it's faster than taking the five freeway because somehow I got from Anaheim to Amphibia without hitting any traffic. Honestly, I think he's having a great time. Million dollar question for you. Where do these characters come from? Is there any real life inspiration that you draw from? Yeah. Yeah, so Big City Greens is uh, we, it's based on our lives. Uh, we grew up in a very like small country town, dirt roads and farms and cornfields all around, around us. And then we moved to Los Angeles, which uh, is, has none of those things. No. And uh, is very different. And we thought um, we wanted to take that scenario but put in people that we kind of knew and grew up with uh, to uh, inspire who these characters are. Uh, hi, old Kermit again. Oh. Uh, oh, well, so I, I found my way out of Amphibia and uh, out of the uh, <clears throat> frog-eating moth. And, uh, uh, but now it looks like I've wandered into... Um... Yeah, you're a big city, Kermit. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, big... oh, yes, I am. Uh, you know, it looks kind of big and kind of uh, cool and friendly-like. Yeah, it's sure great to see all the sights here in Big City. Let's see, you know what, I'm gonna, uh, maybe I'm gonna go visit the, uh, the Statue of Responsibility, or uh, maybe swing over to the Silver Silverway Bridge and, and maybe grab a tea from Big Coffee. Uh, you know, I, I work part-time as a tea-drinking meme, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what a great surprise. Please welcome my good friend, actor, director, writer, and the executive producer and star of Blackish, Lawrence Fishburne! Yeah! Woo! Thank you, Kermit. I'm very excited then to tell you about a brand new collaboration between Disney Channel and Marvel Animation called Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Yeah! Have a great expo, everybody! Woo!